Hello everyone. Welcome back to Arpita State Corner. Today we are going to explore two important DAX functions. One is lookup value and selected value. Also, we are going to explore the difference between this lookup value and related function as well as the selected value and value functions. So before proceeding with some practical example, let us understand the definition of these functions. Lookup value, it returns the value for the row that meets all criteria specified by one or more search conditions. Let us understand the syntax. So lookup value, it will have this result column name, search column name, search value, as well as we can give another search column name and another search value too and like this way that means one or more search conditions. So another option is that alternate result which is optional but it will return a value when it will return you the blank or error. So it is behaving as exceptional handling. Related function returns a related value from another table okay let me move to this selected value versus value selected value is returns the value when the context for column name has been filtered down to one distinct value only otherwise this returns alternate result that means in the selected value we can provide the column name and the alternate result then what is values when the input parameter is a column name, a single column table, when the input parameter is a table name and a table of the same column is returned. So we have some idea about this DAX function definition. But let's see some example. For that purpose, I'll just create a new page. I've created a sample data set to explain this DAX functions. You can get these data sets from the GitHub link, which I have mentioned in this description section. Okay, let me import the data. It is a Excel file. Just click. And I will import these three tables. Now these three tables are there. Before uh, creating any calculation, let us see the data model in the model section. So by default you can see this prod ID and this prod ID has been joined but I will remove this joining condition between this sales table and this product no relation table. Let me go back to this report section. Now I am in this report section. So I'll show you why I have removed this relationship between this sales table and this product no relation table, whereas the relation between sales table and product table is also there. Okay, let us create one calculated column using related function. Just click on this fact table, new column. Keep some name channel related equal to just type related within bracket we need one column name so I'm going to select this channel I'm creating this calculated column in the fact table but it is calling that related column name from the related table that means it has the relationship between this dim product and these fact cells okay so this is our related functions let us see how we can use this lookup value function again select this fact table click on new column keep some name channel lookup okay equal to now type lookup value function within bracket 
we need the result column name that means we are going to extract the channel name I'm going to select channel but not from this product table this table that means I'm going to extract the value from another table which is not related to this fact table okay that means there is no relation between these two table so let us select this one and first we need the search column name that means the search column name from this product no relation so there should be some common column name so product id comma search value one that means it should have a another column name from this cells table that means values uh, for these two columns should be same okay now i can provide some alternate result for example no value okay now click on this okay let's see how it's working just click on this product ID and this channel related name okay now click on this an another channel lookup name you can see this product ID we have this channel name and corresponding channel lookup name in the similar way we have populated the value <coughs> that means you can understand what is the difference between this lookup value and related function when there is no relationship between two tables we can use lookup value function and when we have a relation between two tables at that time we can use related function okay let's move to this selected value versus value let me create another page so now we are going to explore how we can use this selected value function okay so uh, we are going to create some measures using this selected value and this value function first let us create one simple measure okay that is our total value so what should be the total value let us select for example total sales equal to sum of our sum of this value okay let me select this one okay now we are going to use this total sales measure whenever we are going to create another measure based on selected value let me keep some name selected value okay equal to now this selected value normally we are using within some DAX calculation or DAX expression how we are going to use that for example if you have some scenario you are going to write some if else statement how will you do that just write if selected value where this product name comma here you have to give some alternate result for example no selection I'm closing the bracket equal to you are going to select some value from the table now what it will return for example it will return total sales into 0 0.16 some values okay now your if statement is finished just save this now you are using this selected value function whenever you are trying to select some value for a particular condition now in the similar way you can use the values function let us create another measure and give some name 
values okay now i will start with some other logical check how we'll do that just if clause has one value with the product name close the bracket and i will start another if statement just comma if values and just uh, give the column name name okay close the bracket equal to this prod 3 comma so what will be the result total sales into 0 0.16 okay i will close the bracket now this if statement finish now i need to close the first if statement again i close the bracket again so our this function is also finished let me save this one okay let us create one small report so we have used this product name so just select this product name now let us select total cells first i will select this selected one then i will select this values one and you can observe we are getting the same result so if we are getting the same result then which one to use we should use this selected value function because whenever we are using this selected value function we are getting same result with some elegant and efficient way because here we are using only one dax function whereas whenever you are using this values function we have to use another function this has one value function also so from this example you understood why we need to use this selected values instead of values whenever we have to return the similar type of result so you will get this working file from the github link please check the description section in this video if you like this video please like comment and subscribe to my channel and share with your friend thank you thanks for watching